Hi, today I've just filmed a quick little tutorial on how to curl your hair with a flat iron. Now I know so many girls struggle with this which is why I wanted to do it because once you really do learn how to do this, it can be so much quicker and easier than curling your hair with a curling wand, especially if you've got a lot of hair. I'm, I've am i got quite thick hair and it's quite long and I've got a lot of it and I know if I use a curling wand it can take me so long and curling with a flat iron is so much quicker and it's a skill that you can really use when you master you can learn how to sort of give yourself different curls and get curls that are quite similar to that if you were using a curling wand. Um, really easy. It's something that you can test on your friends, practice with your friends, practice on yourself and really sort of develop your skill and it, it will become easier. I promise you I didn't sort of get my straightener and all of a sudden start curling but once I sort of learned and realized exactly what you had to do it, it's so easy to practice and, and it will, you will be able to pick it up. Don't worry if you're sort of struggling and if you sort of haven't been able to do it in the past, you will be able to do it, I promise you. Just keep on practicing, uh, just follow the steps that I put out. And if you've got any more questions, if there's something I didn't say, uh, please, don't, please don't hesitate to ask me and let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to begin with just uh, your natural hair. Mine has been washed and I just let it air dry. Uh, you can use a blow dryer, it, it doesn't really matter as long as it's dry. If you... The next thing that you want to do is have it brushed really well. So I'm just going to brush through my hair. Any knots that you have will tend to make it harder to curl because the straightener gets caught or the flat iron gets caught as you're um, pulling it through. So give your hair a really good brush. And then what you want to do is part it where you like it, so wherever your natural part is or wherever you want your part, whether it's in the center or on the side, for me I like it on the side, so I'm just going to part it where you would like your sort of final hairdo to do. Then we're going to section it. Now, depending on how thick your hair is, depending on, will depend on how many sections that you have. Um, also, depending on sort of how neat your You'll, you want the curls, so you might want to have more sections so you can be really precise. For the sake of beginners, I would say try to section it a little bit more, um, only because you'll be able to see exactly what hair you're working with and you won't sort of get overwhelmed with too many bits of hair going everywhere. So for today, I'm going to section it from sort of the, the mid anyway, of behind your ear. So you just sort of use your thumbs, pull the hair back, pull it apart. So you have sort of this small amount here and then just twist and clip your hair on top. Again, it doesn't matter how neat that is, it's not going to make a big difference. Then sort of separate it from the back so you've got about half on each side. And I then brush it through with a sort of a small toothed comb. But I'm just going to brush this through just to make sure they really are no knots. Then the next thing you need is your heat protectant. I'm using a De Lorenzo one but any, any is fine. And just give it a spray. With the heat protectant it's okay if it's not sort of totally dry. You may see a little bit of steam when you're curling and that is just the heat protectant sort of um, almost not burning off but it's sort of drying out in a way. So that, that's totally fine. Don't freak out if you, if you see that. Next thing we're going to do is take our straightener. Um, now, I keep on calling it straightener. I know some people call it, call it flat iron in Australia. We tend to refer to it as a straightener, but straightener, flat iron, you get the picture. Basically, I'm using a GHD. Um, I personally prefer this brand, but there are plenty out there. The Chi ones will work fine. Anyone that's, anyone that's thin, and also the ones that have a sort of a rounder barrel. As you can see, this has got a round it's curved, so that will help to curl better. If it's sort of perfectly dead straight with really square edges, it may make it a bit harder to curl. You probably still can, but you've got to twist a little bit more, um, or you might get sort of weird kinks in the curl because of its like flat square edges. But something like this will work fine. So to begin, you can take a small section of hair. I generally take about an inch worth, say about this. Now, so basically what you want to do, you want to hold it with your, your left hand, you can do vice versa if you're um, left handed, it does, I find it easier, obviously I'm right handed so with your right hand. You want to hold the straightener so your thumb is on top and then sort of twist your hand over so your thumb 
and the top of the straightener is now on the bottom and you want to hold your hair at an angle. Now I like to curl away from my head so you're going to twist it away and basically to give you more control use your other hand on the tip to sort of twist it with you and you just twist away from your head. You just want to keep on twisting. Now I've twisted sort of 180 degrees, I'm going to twist again. And that's the thing that I've noticed with a lot of videos that some people aren't twisting enough and then they end up with not a really, not a sort of a tight curl. It tends to be more of a bit of a wave. And the other, the other tip I would say would be after you've curled, twist it in your hand a little bit in the same direction of the curl. That will help it hold the curl. It's the same way as if you were doing, using a normal curling iron and you twist it and then grab the curl and hold it. This works the same way. You want to sort of, while that's cooling down, to keep that twist going. Now I'm going to do it again. It's kind of, it's really hard to explain what I'm doing, so I'm hopefully by watching it you'll be able to see. But yeah, so you're twisting. Well, if you want to curl away from your face, twist the, um, twist the curling iron towards your head in a clockwise clockwise direction I think, I think, <laughs> yeah in clockwise, so you want it to come back towards your head and you can keep on twisting, sorry that one's not going to work, I'm going to try it again. The other thing too is that the hair might drop out at the bottom, so to try and start it up to top towards where the plates begin and then just keep on twisting and you can pull, try and pull at as close to as possible an even speed. So again, look, hold the hair, twist towards the head. Now you can twist it once, twice maybe, and then pull it slowly through right to the end, and then twist it around on your finger. And as you can see, you can get quite defined curls. Now I can usually get even more defined than this, if I sort of want to, but And a little bit of a crunch. There we go. And we can try the other side. Now, the other side works the same principle. I still use my right hand because I'm right-handed. It's still the it's still easier for me to hold the straightener with my right hand. So I'm just going to brush it through again. Now, it works on the same principle. So you still have your thumb on the top of the straightener. And you still angle it down. You're just going to twist the other way, so you're twisting away from the head. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Twisting it away from the head so that the curl will still be away from your face. Twist once, twice, and then slowly pull it down. And if you get sort of caught, you might have to hold the hair like I just did then when you're pulling the last little bit through it. So here, so we turn sort of 180, and then you make it a full 360 degree turn. So you've done one whole loop, and your thumbs back on the bottom, and then slowly, slowly pull it through. Now sometimes you might have to sort of shake it a little bit to get it through. That's totally fine. It will still come through, and it'll still be fine. And again, twist at the end of each curl. I honestly, I think that's one of the main tips that I would give for you to be able to keep the curl is give it a twist at the end while the hair is cooling down. So it does get very hot. These things get to like over 200 degrees. While the hair is cooling down, you want to hold it. Or twist it. I would say that the one thing is that practice makes perfect. So if you can get together with a group of girlfriends and practice on each other, it may be easier when you're starting out to try it on someone else's hair because you can see what's actually happening. Um, the other thing I would say is that it's not something that you sort of can just pick up overnight. I didn't buy my straightener and all of a sudden could curl really well. I've had this kind of straightener for like five years maybe, even six years, and I've been curling for about that long. So I've had a lot of practice with it, um, which definitely has helped me. I've gotten better as I've gone along, and it means that I can sort of get different types of curls. But I'm going to take down the top section so you can see how to do that, because the front tends to be a little different. Now, I already sprayed this with um, heat tape. 
Okay, so for the majority of the head, you just want to curl the same way. So as you can see, it's the same, same principle. You can start sort of anywhere that you like and just go for it. Try not to make your part too deep. If you want sort of a little bit of volume at, at the crown of your head, at the back of your head, brush it back as opposed to having your part go all the way to the end. That automatically, as you can see, it automatically gives you a little bit of volume. And when you do the curls back here, still do it the same way that you've done the rest of your head. Thumb's still on top, except when you put it, before we sort of had it angled down with the back, have it angled flat, sort of perpendicular to your head, and sort of curl on top of itself. So it's still going to angle down slightly. But you're going from a more sort of east to west hold of the curling iron and pull it up away from your head. So as you can see, it's just sort of giving you a bit more volume here. Just keep on curling until all the hair has a curl in it. For the front, I say sometimes you might want to get a bigger bit than usual, so one that goes all the way across your forehead, just so you get that nice sort of front curl. You might want to give it a quick spritz before you move on to the next section. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now you want to finish off with a final spritz of hairspray. I would say don't use too much. If you go overboard, it can weigh down the curls. So um, just try and find a happy medium. But the more you sort of play around with it, you know that you know your own hair. And that's sort of what's important. Sorry. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the bottom bar and I'll try and help you out. Um, it is kind of hard to explain verbally, so you almost have to just watch and practice, 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 practice. Um, one thing I would say is that if you don't like sort of such a defined curl, you can um, run your fingers through it and brush it out a little bit. I do like to do that just so that there's a bit more, gives it a bit more body and it just makes it look almost a little bit more natural because the curls are a little bit more messy. My other tip for uh, curling your hair, whether you're curling it with a flat iron or curling it in general, is that if you want the curls to last the longest, I'd say curl all the same way. Now it doesn't matter if you curl away from your face on both sides and it's sort of so at the back it's different, but if you curl all the same way in general, it means that when the head curls drop, they tend to drop into more of a wave and they'll just join together. So if you sort of want to curl your hair sort of first day and then maybe not wash it overnight, have second day and still have it sort of wavy. I'd say curl it all in the same direction and then you'll get these really nice sort of big waves in the second day. So that would be my other, my other tip but I hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye!